Hey everybody, Danny here, and today I'm going to bring you a short tip on how to open two or more Skype windows at one time. In the past, Skype's only allowed you to open up one uh, Skype window at once, but now with new updates, you're allowed to open two or more. Now, they don't make it quite so user-friendly, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so first you're going to head to your Start menu, type in Skype, and then right-click on Skype when it pops up and go down to Properties. Under the Shortcut tab, copy everything that's in the Start In box. You can do that by right-clicking and hitting Copy. Then you can go ahead and Cancel. Next, we're going to want to go to Start, type in Notepad, and then click on Notepad. Now in the Notepad window that pops up, the first thing we need to do is type in CD space and then right click and hit paste. Now before that ending quotation mark you need to add the word phone and then add a slash like all the other ones. It's not the uh, it's not the slash with the question mark it's the slash above the enter key on your keyboard. So just make sure that you have the right slash right there. Next hit enter and go down the line Then type in skype.exe and then a regular slash and then type the word secondary. It'd be helpful if I could type correctly. Alright. And then finally go down another line and type exit. Finally, go to the file menu, go to save as. The important thing is that it needs to be on your desktop. So go ahead and go to your desktop. Then save as type all files. And then the file name can be anything you want, but at the end it has to be dot .bat, dot .bat. So I'm going to name mine um, two skypes dot .bat. It doesn't matter as long as you have the dot .bat and save as type all files. Go ahead and hit save, close it, and then you'll see you have a new file on your desktop. Now to run your multiple skypes. For the first one, you need to start it regularly by running it from the uh, start menu there. But then for the second, third, fourth, fifth, or whatever, you can click on that uh, two Skypes file on your desktop that you created. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, be sure and subscribe, and thank you for watching.